All right. <clears throat> We're back. Whew. It has been a while since I have streamed for longer than like six <laughs> than like four hours in a row and we're going up on six you think we can do it I believe we can longest I've ever streamed was 10 well 12 technically but I believe we can do it mm, hardly a trace of a recipe remains just remnants of half-eaten pie highly in pine cones I guess that explains why there's pine cones everywhere Hey, partner, you're looking good. You also pulled to this place by an inescapable tug of a story. Chasing some new chirps and warbles for my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, the stable has been raised on a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. It's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Anyway, why don't you dock with Chork, the guy who's taking care of the white goats. I'll look for more clues. Yeah. Partner, time for you to get to work. It's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Hmm, white goats gone missing. Sounds like Zelda. Got your goat. Uh. Hey, buddy. Have you seen some white goats around here? I've given those goats all the love and care in the world. The other day, they ran off together. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. Followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly. But could it have been the feed that drove them off? Recipe? Yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. And would never have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. <laughs> it's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. Didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me. I put it in a glass bottle. A big storm came through one day and it blew the bottle off somewhere. Wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. Mm. What would make my white goats spit up the Hylian and pine cones and run off like that? Did they... Did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? Hmm. White goats like turkey and mayonnaise. So do I. Except for the mayonnaise part. So I guess we're following the pine cones. I don't think you should feed people pine cones or like goats pine cones. I don't think that's a good idea. Like, they explode. These things are basically bombs. I will be taking all of these spicy peppers though. Mmm, tomato. Wait. Nice, uh, you there? Razor shroom? This mushroom is known for the snipe natural slice on its cap. Fosters your competitive spirit. Increases your strength. That's an attack up. Brushan! What in? Same results either way, I say. True. Also, do not shove pine cones up a goat's ass. Speaking from experience. They went this way. Ugh. I almost died, but I'd lived. Jeez, all these pine cones. I thought that strip of grass was a white goat and I about pooped it to myself. Please do not wrong way any critters. That in general, yes. Do not shove things into critters. Pine cones. Pine cones. Boy, I sure do love pine cones. 
goats. Hey, what up? Oh, hey. Whoa, these are my white goats. So this is where they ran off to. Have you been following me? Chork. Chork, don't do that. There, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? You're the one who found them. Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait. Oh, no. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cone hole. Hi again. Hello, Goconut. Goats are my favorite mammal. Nothing makes me laugh as hard better than stand up. Just, <laughs> just shout at them. You'll get in infinite. You get instant, instant funny. Should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have run, run away too. Can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. Should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not about what kind. Just yeah. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. I swear that from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. Bye, guy. Hey, partner. Yo! All right, that's your new voice. I saw everything, partner. Oh. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm, do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I have another theory. Huh. Maybe the white goats set up to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Hmm. We've worked together to chase two of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Hmm, 50 rupees. Sick. Oh, and there's also this. It's from Tracy. Lucky Clover Gazette fabric. Ooh, paraglider fabric. So Hajeno's village, village's dye shop in Nekluda has started up a new service. There's something to do with fabrics. I know, I know. I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is, by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. It'd be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. All right, I'm going to hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. So long! I love that guy. I do wonder though, do um, do people really need to <laughs> to learn about this? Do they really care? And the white ghost that went missing, Jork is incredibly remorseful for having messed up the animal feed recipe and even more remorseful for having doubted Princess Zelda's recipe in the first place. After you told Pin what happened, he returned to the newspaper to write up an article about the events. Okay. I'm going back to the shrine. Yeah, one of my favorite animal videos is the fainting goats. I love fainting goats. Always funny. <gasps> there it is. 
We found it. Geoglyph! Also, there's a Korok here. Better not tell me to go over there. Where'd he go? Um. Oh, there it is. Where are you going? Oh. Awesome. I'm okay. I'm stealing their food. Mine now. Later, suckers. I'll talk to you later, Metro Man. I have things to do. Worked on a handful of ranches and I can swear upon a stack of weed that they are the funniest thing on earth, right? They're just a bunch of goofy lads. I'm gonna remove this. I put it in the wrong spot anyway. I've always been a townie, so I've never personally encountered many farm animals. I did ride a horse once though when I was like very little. It was a huge horse. <laughs> I wish it would stop raining. <gasps> Choo choos! Alright, maybe this isn't the best item for these guys. Captain One Reaper, go! Nice. It was like a Clydesdale, I think. Huge horse. Massive horns. You need to reach your friend. Where's your friend, buddy? Oh, man. Oh, he's up there? Yeah. Yeah. We don't see eye to eye in my, on much. My goat, pig, and cattle fellow horses are an issue. Horses have attitude. They're all so mean. <laughs> Grab the Korok! Thank you. We gotta do this because I have no climbing capability because of the rain. Oh, God damn mean. If I attach you to the mushroom? Uh oh. I was hoping that would keep him in place. It didn't. Korok, no! Okay, you're good. Give me that shroom. Korok, no! <laughs> Alright, you know what? Become a donut. You and I are going places, you hear? I need to reach my friend. Oh, you'll reach him, all right.
No, not not there. Not there. You'll pop off when the rocket dies. You ready? Let's go, Korok friend. Easy. Get back here. So that didn't work out, your friend may have whiplash. I'm sure he's okay. All right. Go over here. Stand up, Link. Stop, Link! Trying to take pictures of a Korok! Go! Go! Stop. Go! Hmm. This doesn't seem to be working very well. You know it will work though. Get him! Grab him! There we go. Classic time shenanigans. Watch this. Hold him up as far as you can. Hold him. Hold him. Let him go. All right, now. Come to me. Uh oh. Grab the cork. Cork now. Fine. Gonna make this difficult. Use a longer stick. There. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah! Ah! I'm okay. The white tailed deer. We'd raise ones without parents, and those things play rough on another level. Beautiful psychos. Gotta love wild animals. <laughs> deer are way crazier than people think. Oh my god, those are. Big choo-choo's over there. Good thing we don't have to worry about those guys. Yeah, deer are psychos. Unrelated story, but I remember when I went to college I had to explain to someone What hightailing it meant Because they'd never heard that before and that freaked me out because like this is just like 
It's like such a normal word. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's sad. No, yeah, and I was like, like that's like a simple word. <laughs> I thought everyone knew it. Turns out it's not a thing that a lot of people know. And I had to like explain why Hightail was a thing. And I was like, well, you ever seen a deer when they get spooked? Or like a cat when it runs, or like a dog when it runs, they raise their tail. I think you're just talking to a dumb dumb there around. I don't think he was. Kid was smart. I say kid, but he was older than me, but yeah. Oh, hey, it's Impa and Kato. What y'all doing out here? I found the tier thing, but I want to talk to you guys first. Ooh. Link, hello. Ooh. You perhaps discovered geoglyphs in other regions, Link. Well, if it isn't Link. So you are investigating the geoglyphs too, then. How diligent of you. Yep. It's right here. Absorb the memory. Lore! Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> That's cheating. Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. The secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory. I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. Huh? You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But... You also desperately want to help us out in this era. Uh -huh. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. Queen Sonia! And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. 
But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated, and he refuses to back down from any challenge. <sighs> he is very strong. <laughs> and his heart is good and true. Ah, I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Indeed. I would also like to meet him. He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> Sploosh. Sploosh. Kaboom! Sick. I did it. Oh. Link, I've been thinking about your vision of Zelda. Could it be that the princess somehow... Hmm, I wonder... She went back in time! Yes. Books smart, street smart, and emotionally smart aren't the same things. Indeed. But knowing what Hightail means is... I, was, I wasn't making a statement on any, on any of those things. <laughs> They're saying I don't think he was dumb. It's just a thing that... It, that's a Lionel. It's a thing he didn't know. Hmm... That's a red main. I'm gonna go get this shrine first, and then I'm going to try my hand at kicking him in the butt. Then I guess we're going to go investigate what the Satori stuff was. Wait, they seem to have disappeared. No! Ah, well. There's another shrine over there. The only thing I know is I know nothing. Hmm. The only thing I know for real. There will be blood! Shed! The man in the mirror nods his head. The only one left will ride upon the dragon's back because the mountains don't give back what they take. Anyway. <laughs> Lighters up. Time for the only thing I know for real. One of these days I will have a computer capable of playing Revengeance and you can... You can fucking bet I will be. Music in that game is banging. I love it. I don't care. I love it. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to get in there? Hmm. I'm okay. Let go. Let me up. Hmm. 
I'm a genius. You thought... You thought you could stop me? I'm a level 10 of sin to gamer. Wow. I don't need this. I'll replace the long stick with it though, I guess. Sick. Let me out. Let me out, let me out, let me out! Ow. <laughs> My throat hurty. Hey, I got four blessings of light, though. Worth it! May the blight of blessing grant you the strength you see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, great granddad. <sighs> Alright. Put a light marker down there. And now, it is time to kick this guy in the boot. I can totally take a Lionel. Ah! <laughs> Get blown, nerd. I actually totally can take this guy with my black lizzle blade. This jerk won't stand a chance. You don't see anything. Make sure I have good gear on. I think it's the highest defenses of everything. Alright. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. Gonna fight this big lion guy and take his horn for my own. What up, Dingus? Yeah! Oh no! What I would have would have said if I was actually worried. Oh my body! I'm worried. Uh. <sighs> I'm eating raw meat, baby. <sighs> ah, oh, my God, he hurts. Come here. Ah, I jumped it, you dick. All right, try me again. Camera, please. Camera. Camera, if you don't fucking mind. Why are all my jumps slow? Hmm. Whoa! All right. You know what? Screw this guy. Wait, eat shit.
bitch! Oh my god! Consume! Round two! Consume! No, 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 no. Oh my God. Why does he do so much damage? God Does dodging do nothing? Ah! Ow god, how the hell am I supposed to get out of that? Oh my food dude no As long as I have room in my stomach, I can defeat you! the diamond I needed the inventory space anyway. while I'm down? <laughs> Flawless victory.
Give me all of this. That was a perfect execution of that fight. <laughs> My inventory, dude! No! I'll make this spear kick A's. That was our show, man. I wonder if it's because, um... I'm playing this through OBS. Like, I'm seeing exactly what you guys are. So it is possible that I am seeing a delay. And it's like a fraction of a second behind, and that's why he always hit me on the dodge. Because I know how to do the dodges. I was really good at them in Breath of the Wild. But he hit me like almost every single time. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a rock. Wait a minute. Which way do you go? Oh wait, you're upside down. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it going anywhere? Now you go that way. Oops. Raise it up. All right. I just heard a Korok. No, I'm not saving you. I'm going traveling. Meow. Get out of my way, Fox. Sandpaper Kleenex rough. Good thing you had enough gear. Yeah, good thing I had everything I've picked up in the game up until that point. <sighs> yeah. Beep, beep. Oh boy. Gasas. Gas, gas, gas. We're gonna step on the gas. Going into the shrine's hole. Man, that fight did something to my brain. <laughs> I'm fucking losing it over here. Well timed cuts. Well, well, well. I did it. Bring me the barrel. Bring me the other barrel. Give me that. I knew that they had errors in there. I knew it. Hmm. 
I wonder what exactly they wish for me to do here. Probably not this. <laughs> Brig. I build the brig. Dig. Come here. Oops. <laughs> Too heavy. Yeah. Yoink. Yep. Hey, large zone I charge. Sick. Hmm. I wonder. You gotta bounce. Looking forward to the next thing you're doing, brother man. Take care of you. Thank you for hanging out, Jonathan. And thank you for uh, thank you for hanging out. I hope you had a good time and have a good night. I am going to keep playing this game because that's like all I want to do right now. But I'll see you later. Oops. Well, <laughs> yeah. Surely it'll work this time. Just like I said. Love, dude. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a good night. Small key. Let me in, 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 let me in. Wait, I'm not done. So obviously the ball needs to go over here. Do you know what that means? <laughs> go! Perfect. Physics. Now give me this shrine. Raru, you nerd! Give me my power! Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Oh boy, it's rain. All right. Now, finally, time to go see what all of these... These things were. <clears throat> that the Satori was sending me to.
Not a cool rock rock. See, there was one like right over here. What is this? Ah, woo! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> dumb dogs. That's it for the entrance. The cave in? You've got to be kidding me. How am I supposed to get inside now? Well, take a gander for yourself. Ah, <laughs> gander. The entrance of the cave is completely blocked off. I was hauling food out of there when the entrance collapsed. Now what do I do? Should have picked some bomb flowers from the other caves. Could have used them to blow these rocks away. What foul luck. I hate to leave all that food behind, but maybe I just need to call today a wash and come back tomorrow. Or, and hear me out on this, we diggy diggy hole. I'm coming in. Knock, knock. Ooh, free flint. What up? Ross Pro Pass Cave. Get the bomb. Thank you. I know there's a bubble in here. The bubble in every cave. What's this? It's a root. By God, the mystery has been solved. Come to get you. Yeah. Get owned. Nice. One of these days, I'll get to figure out what those are for. But for now, they're just fun. I'm starting to believe that the little markers that the Satori made are for caves. No way to confirm that, only encountered one so far, but I'm guessing that's what's, what's going to be happening. There you go. Whoa, look at the cave! <laughs> hey, those rocks didn't know what hit them! You're amazing! Now I can bring some supplies back to the village. Thank you so much! Oh, right. I need to reward you somehow, don't I? Here, take this. Consider it a token of my gratitude. A Redroopy! Uh -huh. Alright, I'm gonna to check to see if that food is still good. Thank you for opening a path for me. You got it, buddy. I'm gonna put on this gear because it looks sick. Let's go see what's down. Ah! Link is hurting. Let's go see what was down by the actual Satori tree. Let's. I want to clear these. Um. Uh, b b b b d b d d word 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 uh, b d d Pins! I want to clear the pins before we get to making actual progress again. So that is what we will do. Is there anyone here at the flight range? Oh my god, it's the owl! I need a volunteer. Oh, ho, ho. hello there, Link. It's been a while, hasn't it? Canelli's not dead! Deborah told me all about what you did. 
With your help, that wretched blizzard is finally lifted. What's more, I hear you looked after young Tulin every step of the way. You have my thanks. And my admiration. For whatever an old bird's admiration is worth. <laughs> as you've no doubt surmised, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Teba's leadership. Now I spend my days here, at the flight range, helping mold the next generation of Rita warriors. I regret to say that the blizzard ruined our old training equipment. But rather than try to recreate the original course, I've taken this opportunity to prepare a new one. In this course, individuals will train their wits and agility by passing through a series of floating rings. My hope is that this will teach young warriors to fly more confidently, even in unfriendly skies. That said, no one has actually attempted the course, as I only just finished it. Hopefully a brave volunteer comes along soon to try it out. Brave, you say? Taking... Ooh, that archery set is left over from past training sessions. It's a shame that they're simply collecting dust, but I have no other plans for them. Seem like someone who could put them to good use, Link. They're yours if you want them. Yeah, I do. Oh, so you're stepping up. You want to try my training course? What a surprise! <laughs> and an honor! The rules are simple. You pass through as many of the floating rings as you can before the time runs out. Oh, and don't stray too far. Hmm? You'll be disqualified if you leave the flight range. Since this is your first attempt, I'll go easy on you. Let's say 15 rings is enough to earn a passing grade. Manage that, and I'll give you a fitting reward. So, can I give it a try? Let's do this. Ho ho ho! Marvelous! I'll show you to the starting position. Ready? Then on your mark, get set. One second. Let's go! Ba 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 ra ba da. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh, oh, you cleared all of the rings. Well done. What can I say? I'm just a god gamer. Well done, Link. You passed with flying colors. Oh, oh. Do you have a pair of wings hidden under there? No. Not in a flight suit or anything. Is it a high watermark for my trainees to aspire to? Clearly I picked the right Hylian to give this course a spin. Please take this. Hey, Fitty Rubies. You cleared all of the rings on your very first try. Astonishing. Link, you've proven you are ready for more of a challenge. I su suggest you try the advanced course. You're welcome to train here as often as you like in exchange for a nominal participation fee. Please do come again, Link. Your feats are an inspiration to others. I want to do the advanced. <laughs> what do you say? Want to try the training course again? I may give you a reward depending on how well you perform. I'm ready for the advanced course. Marvelous. Show a starting position. Let's go. I love this music. What 
What am I missing? That one. Come on, I can do this. Thirty-one. Really? There's more. There's more. Time's up. I don't see any more. No, oh, this time you cleared thirty-one rings. Now that was some fancy flying. It'll serve as good reference for instructing the young warriors who try to take this fifty rubies. Gotta go again. I want to get all of them. I don't know how many there are, but I want all of them. Challenge your own limits. I can do this. I really messed up on that fall. I really messed up on that fall. Yeah. Yeah, no. Hey, give me my money back. Sick. All right. All right. Third time, third time's the charm. We got this. One more, one more, one more. One more, I swear. Oh, I love this guy's voice. Oh, oh, oh. Missed. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Well done. Told you I'd die. I got it. Told you I had it. I can't believe it. You passed through all of the rings. What an incredible showing. I'll record what I saw today so that posterity will know of the flying Hylian. Please take this in exchange for your tremendous efforts. <gasps> Worth it. Sick. Sick. 
Get me over here, Doolin. Man, I'm so cool. Only took me four tries. Surely no one's done better than that. If you have a better record, leave, tell me in the comments below and make fun of me for how terrible I am. Wow! That's what I imagine is actually being done. There's just Tulin being very excited. Let's go, Ring Ghost. I like having this weird little bird ghost hanging out. It's also a very helpful power. Don't know if it's as good as Rivali's Gale, but it is still very good. All right, where's the cave here? Is it at the top of the mountain? Or hill, I suppose? Well, this is a monster cave. Hmm. Don't blow my cover, ghost toolin. Eh? Yes, you don't see anything. Push these a little bit more. Back up. <laughs> you boned. Yeah. I got in here a thing. Huh? What was that? Dork. Terrible watch out. What are you? Are you useful? Oh, you're actually pretty good. Um, hmm. I will replace this little hammer. Give me that roasted nut. All right, now time to actually find the cave. It's gotta be on the... On the way. On the way. Where is it? Oh, I should eat, huh? I'm like dying here. There we go. This is a big tree. Is this a thing? Ah, this is a Korok, isn't it? Yaha! Yes. Man, when I find Hestu, my inventory is going to get so big. Moose! Get gusted on, dork! But the where cave? 
Was my assumption about these being caves incorrect? Hello? Mr. Hole in Rock. Surely, surely there's a cave. It's got to be just like right around the corner. Mr. Cave, hello. I don't think there is a cave. I don't think there ever was a cave. In fact, I think these are all bait. Get out of here! I mean, my pin's back. I'm leaving. The lookout landing! Let's go check in with Pura. Because we have done one of the temples, so... Is that a Goron? Hestu! Also a Rito. And now it's raining. Mm. You're a Goron. You should know the way to Goron City. On the name of Hylia, did you forget? Mm. Hey, off. I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Besides, it's not that I forgot. When I left the city, there was still lava everywhere. Didn't know Death Mountain would stop erupting, the lava would cool, and new roads would form. Mm. You don't have to tell me there was lava everywhere. It used to be so hot that Hylians couldn't step on the mountain, foot on the mountain without fire resistant gear. Even if I wanted to take a trip that way, I couldn't. Well, thanks to this guy, now you can. First, we have to walk down the road towards Death Mountain, which you can see over in the northeast. Then we'll arrive at Woodland Stable, and from there we keep going north. Thanks for the directions, fella. Oh. Happy to be of service. Using Death Mountain as a landmark is well and good and all. Is all well and good, of course. The red haze around the summit looks worryingly like gloom. Try not to, try not to get too close. Oh. All right, let's get going then. Might as well get out of this rain. And on our way, we'll stop by that bistro place you keep mentioning. <laughs> no, you're talking. More like a bistrock. Am I right? Oh. Unbelievable. How does a Goron forget their way to go little Goron City? Granted, since the lava cooled, the scenery did change quite a bit. Still, it's easy enough to find the city. You just use Death Mountain in the northeast as a landmark. Ah. If you ever lose your way, speak with Atmos in the emergency shelter. He has a map to show you just where you need to go. Anyway, sorry to talk your ear off there. Did you need anything? Hey, yo, what's the haps? Mm. What is the latest? Oh. Ah, Link, did you hear about the hidden passage that was found in the emergency shelter? The what? The tunnel's quite old and neglected. Looks ready to cave in at any moment, so I think we'd all do well to stay away. Since it was found, Jaren, who's been in charge of cleaning, has been acting strange, as if she's scared of something. Mm. She was always so chipper before, too. I wonder what could have happened. Ah. As you come and go, you might find new facilities popping up here, thanks to Hudson Construction. It's nice to see this place changing to meet our needs. So this place is going to like build up as I can as I progress. Progress. What's going on over here? 
Your dumbs down quick. Very interesting. Wads yeah. Wordsworth. Ah, Link. You've come just in time. Have a look at this. Mm. The stone tablet that fell from the sky is inscribed with ancient Hyrulean. If I can manage to translate the text, maybe key to understanding a moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back at the research lab in Kakariko Village. So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back to the village. Mm. If that piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariko Village so I can share what I've translated so far. Oh. This inscription has tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us all to the distant past. I aim to unravel its mysteries, and the sooner I get started, the better. But all right. I guess Kakariko Village is our next point. Kakariko Village and maybe Hateno. And then I guess the next dungeon it wants me to do is Death Mountain. That was a very grumpy horse. I'll talk to them first. What's a bit of rain? Carlson, when do you think the stable will be ready? Ah. It'll still be a while yet. <sighs> Need to get the last of the roof planks correctly fitted. It's only one spot to finish. <sighs> well, until the stable is ready, we can't board any more horses. What a shame. The incomplete stable. Garson has been trying to build a stable, but he's struggling to figure out how to fit the final roof plank. Lester the horse guard is at a loss because he can't take the horses until the stable is ready. And there's this. Messages from an ancient era. A priceless stone tablet engraved with ancient Hyrulean text has fallen from the sky in the lookout landing. Wordsworth, a scholar of ancient Hyrulean, said he intends to decipher the text by comparing it to ancient documents left at the lab in Kakariko Village. He departed for the village in the southwest. Here, I'll fit it for you. Flip it over. There you go. Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to fit it. With the roof done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches. I'll get cracking. Son and done. Sick. Quick uh -huh. and quality. Blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes. Feeling pumped. Gotta get this done in one fell swoop. Nice. How's that? Well, well. This is a fine looking stable. Can't say I'm surprised considering your Hudson's construction is number one. And thanks for your help with this little project, son. Looks great. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. Nice. Can you bring my horse here? We wouldn't have been able to build such a handsome mini stable without you and Carson. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'll work hard to make sure it was worth the wait. Now then, let's get to business. Seeing as you're already a stable member, I'd like to give you one point to thank you for your first visit. Sick. Now then, welcome to our mini stable. Hmm. Board Metro Man. Bring me my horse. <laughs> Have you been to Woodland Stable? Here's a great fairy fountain right nearby. If you leave out of Lookout Landing's East Gate, you'll find it on the way to Elden. I know exactly where it is. But first, my boy. It's you! We meet again! It's been a while, huh? So this place was built recently, huh? It's got a good vibe. And I figure it's safe here since there's lots of people here. There's so many monsters all over these days. So I'm gonna stay here and relax for a while. Your voice is rapidly changing. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you have a Korok seed? Yes, 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 yes. I do, I do, I do, I do, yes. 
Give me more weapons. Sure, guy. Nice. Da 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 da. Yes. Yes. Nice. Da 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 da. Really, the 70 bucks was worth just having a new Hestu dance. Yeah, more weapons. All right, I've heard, I've seen the dance enough. Can I get one more? Thank you, buddy. Look at that, another four weapons I can hold. Sick. Yeah, let's get some bows. Nice. Get one more bow. And I think we'll go for shields for the rest of it. Shield stash. Yes. I like how the three stashes have the color of the goddesses for each. Like weapon melee weapons are din, they're they're pink, red. Ranged weapons are courage, they're favor, they're green, and shields are wisdom, they're Nehru, they're blue. Can I afford another? Nice. You do. I wonder if that's actually relevant or if I'm overthinking it. Alright, cool. Nice. Hey, you got new gear here? What is this? Oh, snow quill. So what, can I like buy new clothes as I get through them? Interesting. Anyway, I want to go figure out what this thing was. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, it's you again. So you know, I've taken the time to say all my goodbyes. Thing is, it's always really dusty around here, so I work overtime to clean it all up. I was working so hard, in fact, that the force of my broom accidentally took out part of this wall. How hard are you sweeping? <clears throat> Ever since I've been hearing this creepy voice coming from the hole I made, so it's almost like a demon growling. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. Uh, At this point, I'm pretty unsettled. Pretty sure I unsettled the demon when I busted up the wall. So it stands to reason that if it wants revenge, I'll be the one that's targeted. Robbie, Grante, goodbye forever. Uh, so there was a path after all. Figured that if this is the royal family's emergency shelter, there would be a path that leads to you. So if you follow it, then... This will take us to the... To the castle, won't it? Hear me. Uh, hear me. I'm hearing. I'm listening. Sense me. Hear. Feel. Think. 
come to me. Wait, it's you! You're the demon that, like, changes hearts and stamina. Ah, so there are some who pay, still pay me homage. You can talk! You don't say. You can hear my voice? No. No? Eh, <laughs> if you say so. Just know I'm willing to strike a bargain with anyone who can hear my voice. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Ever and then, I continued my bargains as a statue in the village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street down to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected. But that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company. And finally, here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. I never was a good student. No, I've only been biding my time for some for the moment when someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. I'm sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I've dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible deals. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. Ow! Give me that back! <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Now, note that I took the how I took the essence from you without leaving a mark. Give it back! Give it back! Did you think I've deceived you? Here's the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. Which will it be? Give me my heart back! I'm counting. Okay, you've got nine. You look skeptical, not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then you must first sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120 rupees. Or you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you. A heart container, or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime, anytime you want to return and pray here. Not happening. Leave me alone. Who goes there? Beyond the hole in the wall, there appeared to be a hallway. Followed the voice and dug through some rock to find a horned statue. Go tell Jaren the truth to find whose voice she's been hearing. Some creepy statue. But first, I'm digging. I'm mining? Not so much crafting, mostly just mining. Oh my god, it keeps going. Alright, I'll go tell Jaren before we keep digging this hole. Do I have any... I do have an unused item. I'll need that. Jaren, you're good. Uh... I broke the wall and angered the demon. And I'll be paying for it with my life. Or I'll be granted goodbye forever. Hey, it's just a spooky statue. You what? You went inside the hole? Did you find the demon? Is... Is this goodbye for me? Mm -hmm. Wait, a demon statue was in there, you say? I knew a bit about those. Wanna know what I know? Sure. Hey. Dealer in life and power, touched by the wrath of the goddess, fall into ruin. Then that must mean the horned statue is an entity who deals in life and power. Which would make the dais the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. So, the voice I heard was the forlorn horned statue. And there's the god as there is the goddess of light, then it follows that she would have an opposite, the horned god. Like light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Uh. Knocking a hole in the wall? That was fate, no doubt it. 
Can't go in there, but I'll keep this area spick and span. I'll be sure to greet the horned statue from here, too. Oh, and thanks, you know. Take this. Hey, free money. <laughs> it's Robbie's spending allowance for next month. But now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Right, time to settle the old nerves and get back to work. Sick. Told Jaren that the voice belongs to a horned statue. Now that Jaren understands where the voice was coming from, she's returned to work. Because she is less concerned about a about a dark god than she is about, you know, <laughs> a regular demon. Ow. Coming through. I just keep digging my hole. Like them, I'll keep on digging. Oh my god, it keeps going. Sheesh. Hit. Hit. Oh, hey, like, like. What up? How you doing? Ha! Perforate your sack. Give me whatever this is. Loot it while it's falling. <laughs> A shield. Sick. The traveler's sword. Put a rock on it. Or, maybe. Oh, I can't fuse the chest to it? Boo. We keep going. Give me that. Give me the rock salt, thank you. Hello, freaky lizards. Wait, was that all that's in this cave? Room? Oh, there's just all that work for lizards! I don't want no stinking lizards. Link, please get off the ceiling. I'm changing clothes. I prefer this. I'm digging. I'm coming. First we mine, then we craft. Blue rocks. Oh, hey. Ow. Hey, you little shit. Yeah. Blue rocks. What are these like super rocks? Not for long. Yeah. Sheesh. Got my pickaxe swinging side to side, side side to side. Hello, I hear you in there. You mind revealing yourself? Freaky creature. Your time is now! Yeah! I... 
Give me that hand. Give him a hand. Where'd the sword go? Yeah, this place is huge. What the? Who invited you? Give me the moblin arm. Yep. I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. Help. Well, keep on digging. I figured. Running out of things here. Keep digging. I can't even see. Just keep swinging. We'll get through here eventually. Sick. Ooh. A keys. Really? How adorable. Get out of here. You know, I'm surprised it's not dark here. Given we are incredibly underground. Oh my god, it keeps going. Oh my god, he dodged! What the? Ah! Electric keys wing. Nice. An electric keys eyeball. Nice. It just keeps going. Yeah! I did nothing. Keep going. Sick. Oh, time to go see what's over here, I guess. Bro, this place is insane. This place is insane. That's a talus, isn't it? Hello, sir. Are you a giant talus? You have to tell me if you are. No. Oh, what is this then? Well, there's plenty. Oop. <sighs> Oopsie. Plenty of things to keep bonking on, so. Oop, wrong button. Let's loot the room. And then we work on breaking the thing in the middle, whatever that is. Luminous stone though. Yeah. I missed. Yeah. All right, fair enough. You. Become hammer. Hmm. Gotta go for the luminous stone, though. 
Who's that? There's gloom building up down here. I don't know. I don't know about this one, Chief. Mm, I definitely don't know about this one, Chief. Hey, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Excuse you. Give me that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I need these. Come on me. Oh, yeah? You wanna try? Try me! Ha! Oops. Hit him in the dick! Ain't got more where that came from. Good job. Hit. 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 Get owned. Give me all this. Knight's Halberd. Knight's Claymore. Knight's Broadsword. Sick. Well, that was worth it. Probably. Still a lot of gloom down here, though. And there was in so many other paths I didn't even take. There's so much down in this cave, dude. Wow! Nailed it. My mushroom! Surely. Yes, I can break through this. Yeah. I'm in. Frog. What the hell? Oh my god. I'll stay in the back for the second. Hey! I'm back. Ice like like stone. Stomach stone kept inside a very low temperature body. It stays cold even outside of the body of the creature that contained it. Sick. Yep. And a shield. Nice. Ooh. Another chest. With a soldier's helm. Headgear made from sturdy materials for metals for frontline soldiers. Praised for their defensive capabilities, the only helms that remain are those that survived the calamity. Sick. Look at all this gear I can equip.
Hmm, I see. Well, do you think you can hide that from me? I should heal. Eat the wild berry. Eat the other wild berry. I'm coming to get you. What? Ta da! Knight's broadsword. Sick. Well, that helm at the very least was worth it. Oh, I suppose I could go this way too, huh? I wonder if they all go to the same, like, down here. We are underneath the well, though. Like, that guy was directly beneath the well. <clears throat> it's a little concerning. Hey, it's dead for the time being. We can keep going towards the castle. Surely this is not a terrible idea. Knock, knock, knocking on Ganon's door. Lo oh my god! Wait, really? What? My things! Give me the truffle. I feel... I feel baited. Give me all this. <gasps> Electric monkeys! Before we deal with that. What about this? Yeah! Up open. Thank you. Ah! God damn it. I'll throw more fire fruit at you then. If I missed. Ha! Yeah. Oops. Yeah. yeah! I want to know what's in here. Link in his back window must know. Truffles. Sick. Yeah, all right. Come here, shock monkey. Oh my god. I can't. Got out of there. Oroblin guts. Nice. Black Oroblin horn. 
So they're not yellow. Where are you, monkey? Huh? Die, you fools. What the? Owned. Nice, give me all that stuff. Sick. I love killing horriblins. By that I mean they they sure are a thing. Good job, Tulin. You did it. You helped. A knight's halberd, halberd. <laughs> ah, I see. The weapon of a true champion. The halberd, halberd. I'm very late. Do not worry about it. I only have eight minutes left on stream anyway. <laughs> How are you, Jimmy? But yeah, we're ending in like eight minutes, so... Dang, yeah. I've been going for almost, for for over six hours, so. Good, and you? I'm doing pretty good. My energy level is decreasing, as expected, you know, to be talking and streaming for six hours straight. But, other than that, I'm doing really good. I was busy at home. I understand. It is what it is. I can thank you. But currently, we are exploring a cave that seems to be underneath Hyrule Castle. And it just keeps going. Need an ice drink. Get an ice drink. It actually sounds delicious right now. It's very hot here, I see. Are there rocks in here? Yep. Ice drink sounds good, if I'm being honest. Make some more mining supplies. I look forward to eating after stream. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna do my job because I have IRL work to do. But still got a six hour stream in because we started early. I ho! I ho! Topaz! Destruction! Anarchy! Ooh, sweet. Bombs. Rope. Nope, not a fire fruit. Not a fire fruit, Link! Um. About to go to the store again. Hmm. What you getting? Wanna investigate what's the rest in, in here before I go through the obvious hole in the floor. What's up here? Things from my house, I see. Hit! Present for my cousin. Anyways. Ah. I see. 
related to the stream early tomorrow. If I stream tomorrow, I have... I may not have to be able to. Um... I'm currently doing it in a little bit more at home. I got off easy today, but I might have to head home earlier tomorrow, so I might not be able to stream. At least if I do, it won't be for very long. Anyways, goodbye. Alrighty. Thanks for stopping by, Jimmy. Hmm. This is just a... Just a room full of mushrooms? I mean, I appreciate the bomb flowers. This has to be another path, though. Certainly, this is a sa Hey, it is! Uh-oh. No, 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 don't you do it! No! You sealed your fate! Back your coward. Where'd my bow go? There it is. You know what? Screw you! Ow! Shock like stone. Stomach stone exposed to the high voltage inside the body of a shock like. Nice. And a knight's shield. Also nice. I pressed the wrong button. Eat the bright caps. Oh my god, this place keeps going too. I need to go check. To see what was in that basement, I think this might actually be the, the progress. Howdy, friend. Bonk. Die. I can totally lift this out of the ground, can I? Yes! Hole in the ground! Give me the bomb. Give me the bomb! Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Let's see if I could just ascend up into the cell, but I would get out of the basement. I don't want to do that. I'm enjoying this place. I'm Spelunkin. Soldier's armor. Hyrulean guards praise this armor for its superior defense. Made from sturdy plates of metal, the high level of craftsmanship that went into it is obvious with just a glance. Sick. Look at me, I'm a little hero. I just need to find the other suit. The other piece of the suit. Help! Boulder in the way! Secret item up top this time? No. Secret item in here? No. That's sick. However, we'll continue exploring next time. I am done with the stream for today. Six hours, almost six and a half. Good enough for me. Ugh.
Ugh. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, we're back. My computer froze for a second. But thank you all for hanging out. Be all had a good time. And I'll see you all later.